What's up guys, this is iTweaks here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to manage and control your cellular data usage on your device. So it's actually pretty simple. So you can see right here if we jump into our settings and we tap on cellular. Now we're going to start to scroll down just a bit and you can see that we start to get a breakdown of our usage on this device. So we have our call time right here. Right below that we have our cellular data usage. So for this current period I've actually used 2.7 gigabytes. Now this is actually a little bit off and I'll show you that in here just a second. But if we start to scroll down just a little bit more you can see that we have our cellular data usage broken down by specific applications. This is actually in uh, alphabetical order. The weather is up here at the very top just because it has a space right before its name, but you can see right below that it starts with A and goes through all of my applications. Now you can see if we look at these applications, you can see how much data each one of those apps have used. So for weather, I've used 594 kilobytes. If we scroll down just a bit, you can see the App Store has used 111 megabytes. And I mean, you can really see the applications that are using a whole lot, Gmail at 130, uh, PayPal, or not PayPal, Pandora, you can see right here, 740 megs. And if we scroll down just a bit more, Skype 140. So I mean, you can really see how much each of these applications are using, TweetBot at 414 megs. So what you wanna do to in, in order to manage these, is actually toggle off these applications that you think you don't really necessarily need uh, to be using data. And you can do so very easily just by tapping on one of these toggles just like that. So if you don't wanna use data for that specific app, then you can just tap that toggle off. Now one thing I will mention uh, that gets a lot of people is iTunes. So if you have iTunes in this list, I actually never use iTunes on my device, so it's not even in this uh, list right here. But what it does, or what it can do, is actually download books, music, apps, and data from your iTunes match while on mobile data. So if you want to turn that off, just go ahead and tap on that application. And you're actually going to go into another settings panel in which you can turn off the music, apps, books, updates, and you can even toggle off use mobile data in that settings panel itself. Now also all the way down here at the bottom, you can see that we have system services. So you can see that I've used 267 megs right there. So if we tap on that, you can see how much each of these uh, system applications or system services, uh, how much data each one of those have used. Now this isn't really something that you're going to be able to toggle off. The only way to do so is by completely turning off data, which is a little bit extreme. So I probably wouldn't recommend doing that. Now you can see down here, you can actually reset your statistics if you want to do that. This should automatically reset every single uh, bill period, but you can see right here that mine actually didn't reset last month. So this is actually two months of data right here so if I wanted to reset that you would just tap on reset and then reset your statistics right there and then you can start over fresh so you can see what you're using on a daily or monthly basis right there so there's a quick tip on how to manage your data if you seem to be going over that limit every single month so let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button if you want to see more of my videos and go ahead and subscribe all right guys until next time this is iTweaks with iPhoneHacks.com